Hey, so we just want everybody to know that like NYPD is here, right, Katie? That's all NYPD intelligence over there, right? And they're looking out, and that's New York State Police. And everybody's looking out here, and we're walking over there now. So we're walking over there now, and I just gotta turn it around and just show that like the cops are here, everybody's here. There's like intelligence here, and um, looks like there are people here to support him too, and not as many as I would like to see, but you know, New York's been pretty beaten up. Oh, here they come! Here's right. Some people. That's great. There they are. So some people are showing up now, and I'm glad to see it. So let's see. Yep. Yeah. Where are you guys going? Where are you guys gonna go? Oh, those people have been here. Good. So, you know, that's good. People have been here for a while. Let's see. Hey. Who is this? Leroy. This Leroy. You're Leroy? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, Wait, yeah. let me turn off this. I have this on a live oh, feed. So let me, let me turn this off. Yeah, exactly. Let me get you out of here. Hold on a second. Let's go. You didn't see. I don't know. We heard gunshots. There were. I don't know. Oh, Trump is standing. Trump is standing. Guys, just undo the undo the gate. Just lift this left this right side. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Guys, take the road. Take the road. Nick, Steven, Marvin. Guys, keep running. Did they just, did they hit him? Did he get hit? No. I think, I think there's something. He was standing, he was standing at the end. Democrats can't shoot. Bro, I called it. They were gonna. Is there more shit? I don't know. Did he really? Fuck. Yeah. You see the forklift go down or no? Yeah. I'm right here. I don't know. I don't know. I saw him standing after when though the cheering was going on. Well, he was up. He was standing. Oh, okay. That was like five shots, bro. What the fuck was happening? He was on Look on DBC. Uh, it's, I'm watching the uh, fake news go crazy because they're saying the Republican Party has. Bro, he's wounded? They got him. 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 They fucking got him. He's over here. Look on BBC. I'm... 
Bro, he's wounded. They got him. 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 They fucking got him. He's over here. Level of lack of civility is, is you know, hostility needs to be cooled down. Maybe this is an opportunity for that to happen. Perimeter on top of a building about 150 yards away. That's not too far away. Should that have been a focus of security ahead of this rally? So we'll find all of that out, but I guarantee, I know the Secret Service will be asking those questions as well as the FBI to figure out uh, what happened because they need to, to answer all of those questions on why there was a line of sight vulnerability and they need those answers quickly because there may need, need to be a change in protocol, um, especially before, ahead of those conventions. So it's important to understand how the threat materialized and um, how they can stop it potentially moving forward. Um, so President Trump, uh, the former president of the United States of America, has released a statement, which I shall read to you. Uh, I want to thank the United States Secret Service and all of law enforcement for their rapid response on the shooting that just took place in Butler, Pennsylvania. Uh, most importantly, I want to extend my condolences to the family of the person at the rally who was killed and also to the family of another person that was badly injured. It is incredible that such an act can take place in our country. Nothing is known at this time about the shooter who is now dead. I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong in that I heard a whizzing sound, shot and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin. Much bleeding took place, so I realized then what was happening. God bless America. That is a statement from um, the former president of the United States of America who has been what it is in my mind uh, it's not officially been called it but I'll call it as I see it um, an assassination attempt if by all the agencies in the federal government as a situation based on what we know now I have tried to get a hold of Donald uh, he's with his doctors uh, they apparently he's doing well I plan on talking to them shortly I hope when I get back to the uh, telephone look there's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. And so and I want to thank the Secret Service and all the agencies, including the state agencies, that have been engaged in making sure that the people who — and we have more detail to come relative to other injured — other people maybe injured in the audience. I don't have all that detail. We'll make that available to you. I may be able to come back a little later tonight, but we'll put out a statement if we don't — if I'm not able to get if — if it's not convenient for you all. But the bottom line is, the, the Trump rally was a rally that he should have been able to can be conducted peacefully and without any problem. But the idea, the idea that there's political violence or violence in America like this is just unheard of. It's just not appropriate. And we, everybody, everybody must condemn it. Everybody. I'll keep you informed. And if I am able to speak to, the, to Donald, I'll, I'll let you know that as well. But so far, it appears he's doing well. Number one, number two, that they're thoroughly investigating what happened to anyone else in the audience. I have we have some reports, but not final reports. And every agency in the federal government, I'll be, and I'm going back to, to my phone to speak with the federal agencies that are being put together again to give me an updated briefing. Has anything happened? They learned more in the last couple hours. So thank you very much, and I hope I get to speak to him tonight, and I'll get to back to you if I do, okay? Mr. President, do you think there was an assassination attempt? I don't know enough to... I, I, have, I, have an, I have an opinion, but I don't have any facts. So I want to make sure we have all the facts before I make some com any more comments. Intensified. Obviously, uh, there are adjustments that could be made in terms of the president's schedule, but um, ultimately, 
the president, the former president himself will um, have great influence on that. Would you expect everything given that these are indoor venues, not outdoor venues that, as you say, already have high security? There will be mags there. There will be other security in place and things that people can't even see that are there that they would be able to feel confident about going ahead with the schedule. Well, I imagine so that they'll they'll want to continue to go forward. We don't want uh, every, you know, any incident to preclude us from uh, from participating in our democratic process. That said, uh, they will make sure that they're uh, every all hands on deck, so to speak, that every uh, mechanism and everything that they can have in place will be in place. And with a higher level of intensity, I mean, they're already going to be uh, very you know, alert to any other uh, suspicious activity. But given that we've just had an uh, assassination attempt, uh, there is going to have to be increased um, increased intensity on the security measures. And given the fact that this, uh, this last attempt was on a rooftop, it was an outdoor venue. Uh, so a different venue, different type of venue, but they'll still want to make sure that all of the um, aspects are being covered. Ingress, egress, you know, the neighborhood, the areas, uh, the airports, all of it will be affected. I want to go back to Shaq Brewster, because Shaq, I know in advance of the RNC, you've been having conversations. It's usual in situations like that, that local law enforcement, which Carmen knows well, are part of it. So that would mean uh, Minnesota law enforcement, National Guard, the, 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 mini the, the Minnesota National Guard. But what else have you learned? And, and I understand these conversations obviously were before the assassination attempt on the president's yeah. life. But how confident were they feeling about the security posture they have? So, you know, the thing about these conventions, these are level one national security events. So inside uh, the secure area, that's the responsibility of the Secret Service. And that's the Secret Service. They said they've been coordinating with some 16, at least 16 local, state and federal agencies around Milwaukee. There's big black barriers that have been uh, erected throughout this uh, throughout the city. And that inside that area, that's where uh, airport style security screenings go through. And that's where your credential is required. 